We may have our differences politically, uh, but the presidency transcends those differences. I'm also pleased, Mr. President, that when you are wandering these halls as you wrestle with tough decisions, you will now be able to gaze at this portrait and ask, what would George do? <laughs> This is an exciting time for our country. No matter how we cast our ballots, this election gives us all reason to be proud of our democracy and our country. The first thing I found in that desk the day I took office was a letter from George, and one that demonstrated his compassion and his generosity. To know the man is to like the man, because he's comfortable in his own skin. He knows who he is. He doesn't put on any pretenses. He takes his job seriously, but he doesn't take himself too seriously. He is a good man. You know, I probably have a few wisecracks, and she seemed to like it okay. And when I saw her, it was a genuine expression of affection. What we've also seen is the spirit of America at its best. When ordinary people step up and do extraordinary things. The One America Appeal is part of that process. And I want to thank President George W. Bush and most of all, an outstanding American, somebody who has always shown grace and character and courage and served America nobly throughout the years, President George H.W. Bush. We are so proud to be with him today. He sets an example for all of us, as does First Lady Barbara Bush.